All right. Uh, so yeah, it's been a while <clears throat> since I've made a, a Fire Emblem video, but uh, today I'm just going to go over um, a few things having to do with uh, uh, light season. Um, we'll talk about, I don't know, just kind of talk about some of the stuff that's been going down, I guess, a little bit. Um, on light season, let's go here. We can see here I've lost 200, a total of 220 uh, defense lift, which is obviously a lot. Like it's hard to make it into tier 38 when you're hemorrhaging that much um, defense score, but it is what it is. Um, my my current defense team isn't very good on on this season, uh, just because of the requirements of like having to run uh, Southus and whatnot, but. Um, <clears throat> But that's that. So, yeah. But I guess the point I want to make is that, like, light season is if you're under, if you're in tier twenty seven, like trying to get to tier twenty seven, it's like such a joke. All right, I've lost a total of two hundred and twenty something, um, lift, and that basically means that I've lost every single attack that has gone through. Right? Cause some of them don't go through because of the uh, lift loss control. So I've lost every single one, um, and I'm still probably gonna make it into tier twenty seven. We are 300, right? So, and I have two, 240 uh, Aether, right? So that's kind of just a, a small point I wanted to make was, like, you can do just remarkably bad on on light and still somehow uh, make it in handily. Uh, I don't know how many escape letters I have. <laughs> two, okay. Um, it has what I'm talking about. Like, ooh, eyes don't look very easy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put uh, Norn here, smite her up here, and she's gonna stand here, and then just snipe her, and then let everyone else kind of run into her. Or, <clears throat> nah, I think what I'm gonna do is um, pop this, and then put her here, and have her snipe her or him, whoever. Probably him, just so we don't get any dancing going on. He's also got supportive capabilities. Oh, I might not be able to kill him, actually. <clears throat> That's gonna suck. Um, let's take a look here. Check map. Do they have any visible buffs? No, they don't. Uh... Well, it gives them five attacks. That's pretty interesting. <clears throat> okay, so... And there's this lady over here. I guess... I think I'm just gonna bring... Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring Norn with... Uh, or heck, I could probably just... No, yeah, I have to bring Norn. I'm gonna bring Norn with... Um, with... Where is she? With Micaiah. Okay. <clears throat> So this will this will be the team. Of course, we gotta drag uh, Fjorm around with us. So I can't smite her up there. So what I'm going to do is put you here and put you here. Okay, this is actually. <laughs> this is actually not exactly uh, the way I should have gone about doing this. Um, right, because she has to stand here and then get danced. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay, so he's got minus seven defense, which is good because that's gonna get doubled by her pledging the pledging bull. Um, so how about that new uh, <laughs> that new colorless archer we're getting out of Tempest Trials? Basically, putting every other archer in existence uh, out of commission. <laughs> um, that's that's another that's its own thing. Um, what to do? What to do? What to do? I 
Okay, not having Smite was kind of a poor decision on my part there. This tree, who would have thought this tree would give me so much trouble? I guess let's try, let's hit this. Do they have any candle wax, moon dance, sacrifice, uh, whatever? Okay. Good morning. That's really the only thing we can do, right? So she has to stand here and and reposition her into this position, into here. So she'll reposition her here. Norn will take one step forward here. And then uh, she'll be right here on this tile. Stand here. Or I guess you can, let me see. Actually, she doesn't have to be here. Yeah, well, no, actually she... Yeah, okay, no, I'm, I'm stupid. No, I don't have to trigger that. I almost took a big old chunk of damage for no reason. Um, I'm going to keep her here because she. I want her to be uh, in range of these guys here. Okay. Okay, that should work, I think, right? Okay, so minus seven here. Okay, let's flip you up. Okay, let's not attack into her, because that'd be dumb. Is she plus ten or what? Oh, she's at plus one, and she just destroys my Norn. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. Um, okay, so we got to push her up forward here. Yeah, stand on this tree. Let's stand you here. Let's kill the dancers. We don't have to worry about these uh, dancing shenanigans. Okay, even with deflect missile, he wasn't uh, strong enough to, to take that. So, do that. We'll activate this. And basically, we, we kind of won from here. Um, the only problem is going to be this, uh, <clears throat> this lady over here, the Milla. Okay, so now we're in vantage range. Everybody's just going to die into us, theoretically, anyway. I forgot to activate my, um, I forgot to put animations on. Uh, well, we still have two more battles, so that's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. So let's pop this because I don't want it uh, hitting us for no reason. I'm um, gonna snipe this. Let's go together. The glimmer of light. I think we're better off bringing her with us. We'll hit this so she doesn't heal. Yes. And we'll flip you over. There we go. Yes. Um, I mean, anybody can, yeah, just like sneeze at her and she'll die. I'm gonna hit this, and we'll kill you like that. Okay. As you can see, like a lot of these like <laughs> lower ones aren't, don't have a whole lot of strategy behind them. Uh, CC Vantage Bow user is still pretty effective. Let's get in here and do this again. Uh, so the issue is put Norn here and snipe him. Everyone else should be relatively easy after he's dead. Right? Theoretically. Uh, Triandra, I think she's going to attack me, so she's going to die. Problematically, uh, Ellie Wood is here, which he's always going to be annoying, but it is what it is. Um, so let's... I actually kind of do need Smite this time, because... Yeah, let's just take... Uh, let's take a Versa. That's kind of the problem with, uh, with her, and I might... Just because of that, I'm probably going to put Smite onto... Um, 
Makaya. I mean, I kind of like the the sacrifice thing that she has on there, but uh, it's just there's too many situations where I'm like I'm in need of that smite and uh, yeah, so that's kind of what's up with that. Okay, let's um. So she can, so Makaya, this Makaya can hit this position here. Um, wait, have I, okay, let's not do it like that. Let's put you on this side. There we go. Um, do they have any, like, uh, rally traps or anything? No. This is kind of what you need. You really, I don't know. I've had, like... So from my perspective, I've had like 50-50 with rally traps and stuff. Like sometimes they'll catch you off, uh, which is why I'm always checking now. Um, but a lot of times when I notice there's going to be a rally trap, uh, I just position myself on turn one, and then it doesn't really matter because the team is more or less there to catch you off if you're trying to do a turn two. Uh, if you're trying to go into them turn two. Um, and yeah, so just keep that in mind. Like a lot of times if you're running like a CC Vantage or something, or like a vector, just like have him smash everything. Just just put him into where he should be in position in turn one. And a lot of times, a lot, certain rally traps will just kind of fall apart because they weren't really meant to fight against your your tank head on like that. They were meant to just start sniping people because they started moving uh, before you thought they would. Uh, so just give it a try if you're, if you're running into rally traps a lot. Um, just see how it turns out. Um, I don't know. That, that usually ends up being my what helps me. Um, but yeah, when I don't, when I don't, when I'm not paying attention, I just get trapped, and then it's like, oh, okay, well, there you go, I lost because I didn't see uh, what was going on there at the, at the right time. It's a lot of damage we're taking. I think he's a bonus unit, right? That why he's uh <clears throat> doing so much damage and so hard to kill. Um I guess I'll just wait for the bolt trap. We'll get you out of the way here. Okay. Uh, ideally, right? I mean, it's not that big a deal that I like because I can kill him, right? I can kill him, obviously. Uh, the but the, the problem isn't killing him; it's more that um, he's gonna chunk her for quite a bit of damage. Uh, not that like so. If she stands here, she's gonna kill her, her, and then uh, he she might not kill him. Uh, but he's not gonna be able to gale force because um, pulse smoke has got us covered there. So. I'm not so worried about him like hitting her and then gale forcing coming down and hit sniping someone else because uh, basically like I said um, we basically got that covered in that sense um, but I'd rather just like have as much HP as possible because again like I said her I'm gonna CC Vantage and one shot her I'm gonna one shot her uh, him obviously I'm gonna fight him first and then he's gonna fight me and I want to have as much HP against him as possible because he generally doesn't like he hits really hard in general, right? So it's not something you just want to, like, die to. Uh, so that's that. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just wait to the bolt tower, and then we'll uh, we'll just one-shot that... Uh, this wizard here. Do they have full healing? No, they don't. They don't even have... See, this is... <laughs> it's just sad, basically. Maybe I should just stand here and kill him. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll kill you just because we can never really afford to fight against Bramimond. The other, the other reason I'm putting her here is because <clears throat> if I put her here or here to snipe him, uh, she's gonna come fight me. And again, she's not gonna do a whole lot of damage because she's not only she's got like 44 attack, um, but still, there's really no reason to take damage when there's no need to. So, um. Let's wait, wait, wait a minute. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. I thought we were. We also had tower advantage. Um. Yeah, let's just hit him. Just because. You never want to, like, take chances with Ramimund. Um, we're just gonna have to sit here. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? Um, if I hadn't, if I didn't have pulse smoke, that wouldn't have gone very well. And it's funny because I kind of oh no actually this is bad because um, <clears throat> he put me in the range of Sothis though again like like I said Sothis only has three attack now if that Sothis was properly built like if this was like a, a good team <laughs> um, obviously you know we'd be in a lot more trouble but fortunately uh, this team is kind of lackluster in, in a lot of ways. Okay, um, let's see, well, I am going to kill this guy, I think Norn should be able to withstand fighting against Sothis for a turn so I can snipe that, uh, those jars back there, <clears throat> let's get you here, so you... Uh, let's do you here. Um, get you there. I don't really know. Yeah, I'll just leave him there, I guess. There's not really much to it. So hopefully he doesn't, she doesn't kill Nor. uh, yeah, Norn. Yeah, she can't. <clears throat> can you kill her? Yeah, you can. Um, actually, I should have put her here. Alright. So, 12 damage now. Okay, so let's see if, uh, you can kill her. No, she can't. That's, that's... That's pretty insane too, considering um, she has she can't double her, which is pretty crazy. Is what the point is there. Uh, I am gonna waste this and put her there and see if I can double her now. No, I can't. I still can't. Can you just kill her? Yeah, I guess you still can just kill him. It's kind of crazy. She just one shots her. It's just weird to me, considering um, how much attack and speed that um, Air has, that she can't just kill uh, a non-merged Sothis. It's pretty insane. Um... <clears throat> it's we're at 80, so we'll have... Uh... Again, we'll have 90. Well... We'll spend 50, and then we'll get back another 10, so we'll have 40 left. Um, that's that. Uh, let's get in here. This person's running a Felicia. So they just, they like the adaptive damage, which, I mean, I guess is, is good, but... <clears throat> it's not the easiest to use when people are running around with... Uh... uh so much mixed bulk. <laughs> Let's see. The biggest problem I have right now is that that Altina is going to just destroy me. Um, I can't vantage her, I don't think. Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I can't... Actually, I can vantage her. Um... But if I do vantage her, I need to one-shot her, and that's kind of tricky. Especially because, so this is kind of good the way they have this separated here, because um, Ramimon and Altina are two opposite sides. Um, 
and they're both able to hit me if I come down this way, which is basically what he wants. Like, you set up everything here so I would come down this way. Um, even it, and even if I do go this way, try to like snipe Altina. Um, he's just gonna move here and then get danced and then hit me anyway, uh, which is the problem. Um, I guess. Wow, you have? Are you serious? <laughs> wow, this is a uh, interestingly built AR def attack defense. No, what is it? AR defense speed res. Interesting. Um, the, the the ARD skills are the AR defense skills are kind of funny because it's like it's always usually just like one unit that has them. Now, a lot of times in cav lines, like all of them will have them. But then at that point, that's, I mean that's a cav line. But like in this case, it's it's interesting because it's like very strong for her. Um, and it's not like I'm gonna waste my time like sniping buildings just to reduce like her singular uh, ARD skill here, uh, unless anyone else has it. Even then, I don't think I would. Um, I guess my what I want to do is pretend I'm gonna hope this is fake. Step here, step here, trigger both of these, and then concoct a way to to stand here, snipe her, and then dance her, and then snipe her. Uh, and then there we go. That should be all right. Uh, the problem being, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna get hit by her twice. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, here's Brammy Mond, of course, with uh, the the sixty nine attack. Um, yeah, I really needed a Triandra for for this for this season, but uh, I haven't pulled for her, so that's kind of my fault. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of think here. This is kind of the problem with having uh, only the kind of the problem with only having um, <laughs> two CC vantage units. Like that's all my light season is just CC vantage. Um, whereas in um, Astra season, it's like if Bec if you can't CC vantage with. Um, with Felicia, then we've got Bector as the backup. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of... I gotta think about this. I kind of want to bring in... Bulky. Because she's got much more res defense. And I can just sit her here and then hit her. And then hopefully deal with... The problem is, like, I need a one-shot... Uh, this person here, but I don't have anything to help me facilitate that other than the, um, what's her name? The Makaya. I guess that's, yeah, I'm probably, so, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go in there with, um, with Norn. Um, no, not that one, this one. Okay, here's my plan. I am going to put you here and you here and uh, you. Okay. So Micaiah is going to be right here in this spot. Uh, well, just somewhere in this column here. So she can hit all three of these, right? She can hit all of these with her ability. And this is going to hit Bramimon. So um, I'm going to put Norn right here, have her snipe her, uh, then. Uh, go from there, I guess. Remimon's not gonna get healed, and he's just gonna—he's gonna hit me really hard. But um, I'm going to hopefully one-shot him on the on the backswing, and then uh, with the uh, Makaya buff, hopefully yeah, sacrifice. I gotta get rid of this. With the Makaya buff, hopefully we uh, let's put you over here. Actually, and I'm gonna try something right now. With the Makaya buff, hopefully we we get that um, sorted. So we're going to stand here and see if this is real. And it's not. Okay. Um, wow, we actually can't kill because she's really fast. She's uh, 48 speed uh, with a lull attack speed there. Um, 
which is fine. Uh, we will swap you this way, I guess. I don't really. Uh, no one here is gonna start moving, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, she might. So let's. Okay. So I put I put Micaiah over here. I don't have any healing, and as long as she's got sacrifice, I may as well use it. So if this was a trap, it would have dropped her uh, low. Then I could have just sacrificed her with Micaiah, and then uh, got her HP back up. And then she could have gone in to do what she's going to do. Micaiah can do what she's going to do, and, and everything's fine from there. Um, so let's uh, let's end turn. Let's go back here. I'm going to put you here. Uh, let's end turn. Okay. So now we're just uh, we're just waiting here for this bolt tower. So let's uh, end another turn. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Um, put you here. Let's. Uh, oh, look at that. They had the uh, duo tower. I'm kind of dumb. I didn't realize that. Um, that's fine. I mean, she's a wasted unit basically, and Versa would have been infinitely better there, but. It is what it is. Uh, I want to kill Felicia because she's going to be annoying. So let's just kill you. This is actually not going the way I planned, so I don't know what's going to happen now. Um, but we'll find out, I guess. Um, one through seven. So this is already maxed, so it's yeah, it's not going to change anything soon. It would be nice if she, if she, if they gave her a joint, uh, joint drive res like they gave Ike, and then they could just like put her like right here. That would have been pretty nice, but uh, that wasn't meant to be. It seems. Certainly. The glimmer of life. She has thirty-three res, forty-nine speed. Yeah, 49 speed. How much speed do you have? Forty-three. So I'm beating her by six, and then she's gonna get six from this. Oh wow, you get plus 10 off of this. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, I can outspeed that. Um, the glimmer of life. So she was getting 10 from this. Or I kind of, okay, that, that makes sense. That's why I didn't, they didn't act on, um, that's why they didn't act on, what's it called there? I don't know what I just did. Oh, well. That's why they didn't act on the first turn, uh, because this this odd recovery just kind of took all the debuffs off of people. That's what it does, right? Ah, uh, penalty. Um, but then the second turn, she came over here and, and did and restored her because of what she had on there. Yes. Yeah, there's not really much more we can do. We, I guess the the thing is, I wanted to put her here to see if she could tank her hits, but I think she's just gonna die, so I'm just not gonna do that. Um, the problem being that, unfortunately, I do think that Norn is just going to die now. 18. So she couldn't outspeed Norn, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, she got plus 10 speed. But she doesn't have the plus 6 speed from the solo, so that's kind of interesting. I'm going to get hit for 29. I couldn't outspeed her. This is so interesting here. 54. This is why... Oh, wow. See, there you go. This is why Raymond is so dangerous. I mean, he was just not even special charged or anything. He's just going to hit me for 54 damage. Like, that, her max is uh, 64, 65, something like that. So it's important to realize that it's very dangerous um, fighting against him. And apparently I can't kill her. Uh, she's like always such a non-threat, too. I'm not actually sure what I should do here. See, the thing is, I should probably let her attack into me, but I need to get her out of there. Because uh, she is, is here and she's going to come hit me, so I think I'm just going to stand here. And she's got vantage, so that's that's why. Okay. Uh, does she have vantage? No, I guess not. Um, so if I hit her... She's got speed like crazy for some reason yeah this is annoying actually I can't just like kill her 
Let's uh, let's heal you up, uh, and then go there. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we'll just hit her twice. Okay. Oh, this is actually not going to work, is it? Yeah, she's not going to die. What if I do this? Yep, there we go. Perfect. Okay. And then let's see if we can kill her. Oh, we can. I forgot how much damage she did last time. She's gonna do more though because um, this is live. Um. Hmm. And I need her to be solo so she gets the bonuses from this. Though it's not, that's not that's not that big a deal. Let's take let's let's stand here and um, see where that gets us. All right, moment of truth here. Seven times two. Wow, she does no damage. Okay, so. We basically won here, right? Because now, now I can come kill her. Uh, you know, not with her, obviously, but uh, with her. So we'll snipe you. Be safe. Um, then we'll dance her. And we will snipe this calf. Yep, she'll die. <laughs> uh, just for the sake of it, I guess I'll just take this. Um, that one's kind of... <laughs> Gone forever now, it seems. Uh, let's just snipe you. Yeah. 89. Glimmer. 100 and something, I think. And there we go, that's that. So if we had got them there, if we had got that other one, we would have been up to 40, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was this week. Um, just kind of thought I'd put a video out. I'm probably going to start putting up other videos, um, for anybody who caught that live stream test that I did yesterday. Um, I'm still figuring out how my internet, uh, is handling that. Probably not very good, um, so... That's kind of the main thing that'll, that'll, uh, get in the way of that, but I, I did want to start streaming, um... Some darkest dungeon, just because it reminds me a lot of uh, now that I'm, like the, the more I had thought about it, it was like it did remind me a lot of uh, Epic Seven and those kinds of games. Only it does seem a little more it's a little more interesting, just because like it's equally as RNG, right? You're just gonna die off of stupid stuff, but it did seem a little more interesting, and, and I always like that game uh, since since like it came out. Um, I just haven't played it much since then, and you know, streaming it a little bit would be a good excuse for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, I guess I'm excited to see the new um, free-to-play bow user that basically is going to make every other bow user uh, irrelevant. Because uh, like, even, like, you could say that, like, he's probably not stronger than Shinin or Claude or whatever. Um, but the fact that you could just plus 10 him easily is what makes him so strong. Like, Claude and, and Shinin are going to take a huge amount of merges, but, like, that guy, not only that, but, like, he just does so much more, so now you don't have to worry about, um, like, he does, he has true damage built in, which is excellent for, you know, CC Vantage strategies. Um, he, he's, he's, he's immune to damage reduction, which you see a lot of, like, um, like, he, they, they can't damage reduce, right? So you see that a lot on, on defense, on, in, in Vault of Heaven, obviously, here we didn't see very many examples, but in Vault of Heavens, you see a lot of, um, uh, what's his name, what's her name, Edelgard, uh, with the 80% damage reduction thing or whatever, or you see, like, deflect missile and deflect whatever's, no. I actually don't remember, I think they were speed-based, so never mind, those might be, uh, irrelevant, so, you know, figure out what I'm saying. I'm not entirely sure. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, he just seems like and his stat spread also basically just destroys Norn's stat spread. Uh, so plus ten on him is pretty good. Not to mention he has a a, a perf weapon. So going further, you know, we're talking way, way, way down the line. Um, probably maybe two years or something. I feel like it'd be two years from now. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, something like two years from now, uh, he's going to get a refine, which as soon as he starts losing relevance, he's just going to come right back in. Um, so there you go. Not only that, he's also got uh, attack speed solo built into the weapon, um, but it's better because it doesn't have to be solo. He just has to be over 25. So you put that on there and basically it means you can run mystical boost. Uh, and suddenly every um, suddenly dragons aren't an issue against him. And uh, what was the other? Uh, what was the other one? Especially because I think he has higher res because the older version of Ains has higher res. Uh, so dragons aren't an issue anymore. Um, any staff wielders are no issue. So basically, if she can, the um, Veronica can come up to you and, and double you, but for like no damage at all. So you don't have to worry about her hitting you twice or. Or getting danced and then hitting you four times, it's not going to do anything to you. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if I mean, I'm probably not going to do like a full review on him or anything like that. Uh, mainly because I'm not going to, I'm not going to merge project him. Um, despite all the the positive I'm talking about him, um, because I, I I've never like I don't pull for power, right? That's not really my main thing. Now I, I'll pull for them and I'll build units, you know. If they happen to be powerful, but that's not the main criteria I'm after. So for those of you who saw, I mean, I didn't build, I didn't like try pulling for a bunch of um, ninja lins because she's strong and she can quad people and she's just going to PVE everything. That's not really what I wanted, but I got her anyway, right? So I mean, she's there. Byleth can do some similar stuff to her, but it was more the fact that I wanted Summer Byleth because, I mean, come on, it's Summer Byleth. Um... Uh, Minerva, like Mini Minerva, uh, Ninja Hana, um, Brunya, all these other Grail projects were like, they were interesting and valuable to me first than they were as competitive, um, as competitive choices. Like instead of Minerva, I probably would have built, if I was more concerned with tier lists, I probably would have built, you know, I spent the orbs on Ashnard or something like that, right? Um, so yeah, that's something to consider is that, is that's kind of, you know, if you're looking to this channel because you see a lot of bow CC Vantage users and you want to wonder if, um, if I'll use him and I'll, and I'll showcase some what, you know what he does and how good he is at doing it, or comparing him to like other other users. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the channel for that because I'm not going to build him. Um, which is hilarious because I've been kind of waiting for like a colorless bow CC Vantage user to like finally come with like a perf weapon or something. Because again, I'll, I mean, I've got you know. Oh, I guess I can't go in there and check. Uh, like I said, I've been using Boki since she came out, and then I switched over to Norn. Um, but now we, we finally get one, and it's just like some dude I don't really care about. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um, what else? Yeah, and it's I don't know. It's just kind of interesting how how strongly favored the the male bow users have been, right? Because I mean, not only not only. Because basically, I mean, it's only main, mainly been those two, and then you know you've got Hanoka who has like her own niche, but it's not very, it's not like she can't basically she can't be a Boki. Um, but you've got like a lot of strong colorless archers. Like I said, all the Claude, uh, two of the Claudes, um, Shinin, uh, like all the older ones like Ains and and Niles, and and those are, are a lot. Are usually they're kind of, they're a lot stronger because they have perf weapons and more interesting stuff going on than just like a bunch of stats. Um, but yeah, that was kind of what I thought was interesting. Who was the, who's the one that, uh, I, I forgot who the one, I can't remember who Acarus uses. He used one of the Tempest Trials ones. Let's actually go take a look at him. Um, I don't know if he has a perf weapon. I'm not sure. I don't know if he has one yet. He's down here somewhere. Uh, oh, there's her too, which again, like she's pretty cool, but you can't really use her effectively because... She's just gonna be in danger all the time. It's not Xander. It's uh, there he is, um, John K. Uh, he's really good for CC Vantage strategy just because he's got a higher attack stat than uh, normal, normally on on these types of units. But yeah, like I said, I mean, you know, her. I I, I decided to build her, and then you know, it just so happens that she turns out to be very useful. Like her, I want to build her too. It's not like she's very useful in anything, but she's all right. She's all right, you know. 
if I wanted a stronger lance user, I'd probably go with something stronger like Eldigan, right? Eldigan would have been good for for being a strong uh, bo uh, lance user from the Grail shop. Or uh, like even her, like I'd rather build her than than build like uh, what's his name, Reinhardt. Like I really just don't like Reinhardt, so I'm just probably gonna go with uh, with Veronica and just have her as a fun sort of cav blue mage. Uh, but anyway, so for me, I guess the point is that uh, I, I'll be able to save Grails there. Um, see, this is pretty fun how they balanced this out. So we got uh, Louise, and then we got um, Rolf here. Uh, two very similar. Again, like there's Death Knight. Um, but yeah, so ultimately that that's kind of what it is. Hopefully uh, he turns out really good, and, and for those of you who decide to invest in him, hopefully uh, things go well and... and uh, you know, he uh, he destroys everybody because I, I think he's going to like if if Norn or or Boki got a bow like that. Oh my gosh, it'd be it'd be a wrap. <laughs> like it'd be over at that point. Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. Uh, yeah, good luck out there. And uh, I guess if for those of you who do look forward to just my my contents in general, not necessarily just uh, Fire Emblem stuff. Um, you know. That that's a heads up of you know what's 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 to come is either either a live stream if I can get it stable and um, not like broken enough, um, but if not I might just like upload kind of like segments like playthrough uh, walkthrough playthroughs of it you know just half an hour segments at a time or whatever half an hour episodes or whatever, um, but yeah uh, yeah I mean that's that's basically it so you know look out there on everything.